time to time. Anyway, Chad writes, Eddie, before I get to my top three Van Halen album list, which I wanted to include my favorite song from each album, I was fortunate to see Eddie Van Halen play in the Gary Sharon era. And to me, it was a really great show despite public opinion. It also is a memory I will never forget and cherish. Now, I know you got a lot of mail, so here's my top three Van Halen records. So Chad is calling back to a couple weeks ago when we remembered Eddie on his one-year anniversary of his passing. Uh, Chad's favorite Van Halen album would be 1984 and his favorite track, Drop Dead Legs. Number two, Four Unlawful Carnal Knowledge, The Dream Is Over. And number three, wow, Van Halen 3. And without you, maybe that's because he saw them on that tour. Chad closes his email by saying, chances are people are yelling at the radio saying, what the F is this guy thinking? Like you said, it's based on the caller's favorite three Van Halen. And those are my choices. Well, fair enough, Chad. Yeah. And I was one of the ones that just said, wow, Van Halen three. Look, I, I've said a million times, Sharon got a raw deal. Sharon gets blamed for that album and he was the new guy in the band it's eddie's band it was what eddie wanted to do i heard the demos of what would have been the second van halen record with sharon it was night and day and i've said this and i'll say it again gary live i thought singing was great in that band because he was the only guy that could and would equally sing roth and hagar here is ron in reno Eddie, I had a cathartic moment while listening to my local FM terrestrial radio station. They actually played a new song called Sane by your friend and regular to the show, Chris Jericho, and his band Fozzie. I immediately turned up my volume dial and rocked out. Needless to say, I will be buying this album on CD when it comes out. My point is that I've actually just discovered a new band from my local FM radio station. How often does this happen? Cheers, Ron in Reno. Well, Ron, I don't know what radio station that was, but, you know, it happens. I mean, there are radio stations across this country, terrestrial, that do play new music on a fairly regular basis. Depending upon the market you live in, it might be far and few between, but it does happen. I mean, I am not one of these guys that diminishes the impact of radio in any way, music radio. I am not somebody that diminishes the impact of terrestrial, meaning regular FM radio in any way, and also satellite radio. Sirius XM plays a major role and has a role too. So I, I you know, there are some great radio stations still across the country. Not a lot in rock, but some. I mean, a lot of them are just homogenized, playing the same mother brain playlist or whatever. I think where you run into a lot of problems is with the classic rock stations that basically play the same hundred songs over and over again. But the stations that play a mix, there's some real good ones. Now, I don't know what radio station you heard in Reno, but uh, Chris and his band Fozzie, look, say what you want about Jericho as a, you know, as a music artist. But the one thing you can't deny is that he put a lot of work into it. And he, he put years into it and he really had a lot to overcome, uh, Jericho, the wrestler to be, to be considered at radio. And now his band is, is a, a, a regular on modern active rock radio with that new song, Sane and the, the song Judas. And he's used wrestling to cross promote it pretty masterfully. So Chris has put the work in. He didn't, you know, he had the wrestling fan base to work off of, but that also worked against him a little bit at times. You know, a, a wrestler trying to get his kicks, but he's he's legitimately built this thing with his partner in the band, uh, Rich Ward, and they really do quite well right now with new music. So, you know, kudos to him for putting in that kind of work. Because it took, this is not an overnight thing. He's been at it with this band for 20 years.